Hey guys, so last night I went and I saw Inside Out 2. It's pretty good. Now, I think it's, I don't know if it is, but I think it is the most successful movie of this year thus far. It's made like a billion dollars. Um, do I think it's the best movie? No, no, of course it's not. I don't think any movie's gonna beat Godzilla X Kong. Unless South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut 2 and Gremlins 3 comes out. I, I don't think it's being it. But this film's confusing. I mean, it confuses me. But it's still pretty good. So, a uh, disclaimer. You might not get this because the movie theater I went to is one of those fancy ones where you can put the seat back. You can lay the seat back and put up the cup holders. So, I got to lay across. So, I had a row to myself. So I got to lay across, lay down on my side, lay on my back, stomach, wherever I wanted, and see the movie and absorb it with my one million IQ brain. Okay, so the film starts off with Riley, who is 13. So, oh yeah, this movie theater I went to, the biggest, the biggest problem is that it takes 10 years for the previews to end. But anyways... We get, we get run down, like, oh, this is Riley, she's 13 now, all this is happening, she has braces, can relate, these things suck. Okay, they don't suck after, like, a, a week, but the first week you get them, oh, God, they're horrible. And the, I don't know if this is everyone, but I got my, I got my bottom ones and then my top ones. I had to, I only had the bottom ones for, like, a month. A month and a half, and then I had the top ones, and that was the weirdest feeling, because if I bit down hard enough on something, the braces would kind of, like, do something to my teeth, like, they push in on my teeth, but the top ones wouldn't, and I was like, what is this? I don't, but anyways, so Riley's at a hockey game, and we get all the emotions, joy, uh, basically the leader, anger. The, the, their names are who they are. Uh, sad, sadness was last, actually. Fear. Disgust and sadness. So they're playing... So they're playing hockey and everything's going good. Riley's cooking up. And I don't know where... Like, her name was Edge. Riley hits the screen. And she gets put in the penalty box for two minutes. She's like, damn, that's crazy. So we get introduced. So in the last movie, her, these like ball things only had one color and that was what emotion the memory was. And then the whole thing was like learning how they could do two emotions in one thing. So they're like, oh, this emotion is poopy, but we don't need it. We don't want it. So Joy has this like thing on a spring that she puts the thing in, that pulls the spring down, that shoots it up into somewhere. I think it's the back of the mind. This film was really creative, though. I'll give I'll give it that. That that part was awesome. So. She walks out and she's like, oh shit, the game's tied. Yeah, uh, so she locks in, she does the thing, she wins, and oh yeah, before that, we see that there's a girl in class who was like, oh, your pocket change can save the world, and then the jar full of change falls everywhere, she's like, oh no. So Riley gets up inside helping and then some other girl gets up inside helping you. These girls are on the team, so they become besties, and they have something like thread the needle, where like they do a cool, they do a cool signature move, I guess, and they win the game, and they're like, oh. So after that, the the coach from the high school is like, hey, you three, you three did good. Go to go to summer camp. Go to this camp right here for three days. Go to go to three day camp, and then bam, you be good, good. 
and like, oh my god, they trained the, the Firehawks. The Firehawks never lose. Oh my god. So, so her, so it's nighttime, and she's like, oh, mom, dad, uh, I feel like shit. I almost lost the game because I have to hit a sweet ass. I hit a sweet ass drop kick. Okay, don't ask which one it was. It was, it was something. I don't remember. I hit a sweet ass drop kick. So, so, uh, she goes to bed and everyone going to bed and then they hear his Simon going up. So in the last movie ended off with like, oh, we're going to do a sequel where it's like puberty. And the Simon that says puberty is going, <laughs> eh, 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 eh. And they're like, what the hell is this? So then, so then, Construction Crew comes in, wrecks all the shit, and they're like, what the hell was that for? And they're like, oh yeah, we gotta expand for the new emotions. It's like, what new emotion, huh? So then, she has officially gone, to, she's officially in puberty now. So, now she just uh so now when her parents wake her up anger anger touches the thing and she like sh sh shouts at the mom it's not like oh mom why you wake me up this early it's like mom shut the fuck up you piece of shit you're always doing this god damn so then so now her emotions are like more strong or something and then we meet Anxiety, the villain-ish of the movie. Which, uh, I'm, I'm gonna need you guys to stop talking. I'm gonna need you guys to stop hearing me for about uh, 45 seconds, but like, anxiety kind of bad. I mean, I mean, okay, okay, okay. Y'all don't, y'all don't hear this from me, okay? Okay, I definitely heard this from somewhere else, and I'm definitely shot, spouting it here. Yeah, guys, 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 come on, come on now. Uh, Oh, that, okay, okay, okay. Back to the movie. Back to the movie. So, anxiety's like, hey, I'm your biggest fan. I know everything. Uh, I'm I'm the first one here. There gotta be more. And they're like, who the hell is this? <laughs> so now, so anxiety. So the rest of them come, which I didn't know this because I had to go to the bathroom. So I went and went to the bathroom. I don't know how they show up, but then it's like envy, uh, embarrassment, and then. I don't know her name. It was like some. They just called her like Wee Wee, but it was boredom, so I'm just gonna call it boredom. So they all show up, and the console, which is big, they're they're doing stuff to console. And Joy's like, "Oh yeah, that 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 that, that that's great, but uh, uh, like like." We're the OGs. Oh, yeah. So, I forgot to explain. There's, like, this beliefs thing. So, that, like, her beliefs will make up Riley. So, the, the one that's in there right now. It, and it, the first one looks like a funnel cake. So, I'm just going to call it the funnel cake because it's funnier. So, the funnel cake says, I'm a good person. So, anxiety's like, yeah. Um, so, so about that funnel cake, like, like, what, what would happen if, you know, like, we don't, we don't really need it, so, like, what would happen if we got rid of it, and George's like, uh, we're not getting rid of it, she's like, oh, okay, I don't know who we is, though, so she takes the funnel cake, she puts it in the shit chute, and it gets flung, it's flung all the way to the back of the mind, when it doesn't have a pop, and she's like, what the fuck was that for? And he's like, so then, uh, embarrassment grabs all of them. And Johnny's like, oh, sorry, Joy. Riley is changing. She don't need y'all no more. She, but if that's me, I would rather have joy, anger, fear, sadness, and disgust than anxiety, embarrassment, embarrassment. Okay, so I think... I don't know if it was jealousy. I'm pretty sure it was like envy. Envy and boredom. D no. So anxiety basically takes over. Oh yeah, they all get they all get put in the shit shoot. Then they get flung somewhere. 
and Anxiety's like, mm -hmm, I'm the leader now. Come on, Riley. Let's go. Oh, yeah, so. So now they, they've landed, and they're like, oh. Oh, we gotta get back up there. So Anxiety has the beliefs that they just have to rebuild a new Riley. Which, how? Well, something I forgot to tell you guys about. So, they, if they do a little code on, on this panel, an elevator will pop up, which they just conveniently know of, because of course they do. They go in, and they can drop a, uh, something in there, and then this little tentacle thing will come up and start to shape who Riley is now. So, they're going to build Riley, too. So... They're, they're doing that. And, um... Everyone's just like, oh, okay. The, 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 this kind of sucks. So Anxiety believes of how that she can be good at hockey, popular, and have friends. Because, oh yeah, her friends are going to a different high school, even though she's 13... The average 13 year old, I don't think they're in the high school. I think they're like 7th or 8th grade. So. So Riley is going to make friends at this school. Because those ones are leaving. So anxiety is like, okay, so like. There's a, there's like the person is like. So someone else that got in on the team as a sophomore, which, which, wait, wait, no, 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 as a freshman. So, so in this world, freshmen and seniors can play on the same team. But at my school, they won't let six, they won't let us have any team in sixth grade because it's too dangerous the school won't have any school team in for 6th grade. Only 7th and 8th. Well, the city school. There's like other schools. My city school. Elementary is 1 through 5. Middle is 6th through 8th. And high school is 9th through 12th. 11th, I guess. I don't know. So... So they let people, I don't know, I don't know. So, um, they, they find the, the lake of consciousness or something. It's just river of just lean. And they're like, okay, let's just grab some random food. So, oh yeah, so Riley is like, oh no, I gotta go, I gotta go to the, uh, I gotta go to the ice early and get some practicing. And then the the leader, who she's basically trying to be, anxiety is like, okay, so if we can be her, then we'll be liked. So then, she's practicing, and every time she misses, she's doing like half shot, like half court, or not half court, half rink, I think. She's basically shooting from halfway across the rink, and if she misses, she has to do a lap around the rink. Which, I, I've, I've done this before, and let me tell you, it's a bitch. I did, like, a short-term version of, like, I throw up, I, do, I play baseball, so, I wanted to work on fielding, so I went to the side of my house, which, like, the side, the back of my house, my backyard has, like, a slope. So, I'm sitting on, like, the, f the flat, and I'm trying to work on accuracy and fielding. So, I throw a tennis ball, because we have windows, so like my basement, and my mom's room. So, I, I throw the ball. And if I can't stop it, I have to get three in a row. This took me like 30 minutes to do because 
every time it would bounce to the side and I have long grass so I, I can't just if I dive I'm gonna be mad itchy and it was like four in the afternoon I usually take showers at night I don't want to be itchy for like four hours uh, back to the movie so uh So Riley, so then Riley and the popular girl, I don't remember her name, so I'm just gonna call her Lee. So Riley and Lee are practicing, and then the coach and the rest of the team come out, and they're like, okay, do some laps, and they're talking to each other, like, oh, damn, I'm hungry, bro. They're like, yeah, bro, bring it up mad early, you always make me hungry. So then the river has a bunch of food, so they're gonna, they're gonna get on the food, but then they realize that nobody up at headquarters well, they have to bring them back. So they have to press a button to bring something back. To bring the emotions back. Oh yeah, they also get locked up in a vault in a jar. I forgot to tell you about that because uh, it, 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 it it's not that important to the plot. I mean, it kind of is important to the plot, but only, only at, the, at the end. So oh, at the end, I'll talk about that part, okay? So... So, um, uh, Riley, I think it's going good, and then we cut to after that, where Riley is like, Riley's chilling at, with the seniors or whoever, and, oh wait, no, 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 no after that, the up the vein. And they're like, oh, you want one of these fucking recharge bars on them? And they're like, uh, those, those taste like booty. But, uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be like a clone and all that. So, yeah, sure. And he's buying it. And then all the food that Riley likes is gone. So they have to ride on some something else on them. So they have to ride, and they're, they're going, oh yeah, and you have sat us a walkie-talkie and just shove her up a tube, and I'm like, okay, go back to headquarters. So then, uh, now we cut to, um, after, after the match, where they're, they're talking about, like, bands, and... Riley is being sarcastic, like, oh, I don't like this band, even though she really does like this band, I don't know whether there's, like, BTS or something, and they have Boredom be, like, a, be, like, sarcastic, like, oh, yeah, that band's so good, and then that breaks the, the, uh, platform, the, the stuff, the mountain that the lean river was flowing down. So they're like, okay, we have to go around the lean river. So they they go to yeah, they go someplace, and they're like, okay, we need that good bird's eye view of where the funnel cake is at. Cause they don't know where it's at. <laughs> and uh and then um they go and they get so they go and they're trying to use like something to get up high, but it won't work and they're and they're all just flaming Riley and throughout the movie uh, fear was meat riding, uh, anxiety. Like, oh, anxiety would know what to do. Shut up. Uh, so that anxiety is like, anxiety is like shit. So they have to call up all of the, all music knowledge they know through the tube that sadness is in. So sadness goes and she hides behind something, but then embarrassment 
find her and he hides her. So, so then they, so then Joy is like, I am sick of all of you. Jesus Christ, I want to kill myself. I hate all of you. Do you know how, how, how hard it is to be happy all the time when all you do is nag, 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 nag. You complain and whine and Jesus Christ, I should throw you off the freaking window. Yo, know, that, that's a censor because you know Disney and all that, but. But then I'm like, oh, okay. So they ride this thing that's shooting out memories to up high where they can see it. And they're like, oh my God, let's go there. So then they stop and they're like, oh, let's just cut through Imagination Island. They go on the pillow fort land and it's just a bunch of, it's basically just slaves riding away all the scenarios that could happen. The third day is going to be a scrimmage. So it's writing away all the scenarios that could happen wrong. He's like, he's like okay, he, he may just keep thinking of bad scenarios. So then one of them leaves to go to the bathroom or something. So Joy draws good scenarios. And Anxiety, who's on the big screen, is like, Joy, I know you're in there. And when, when and I was at the movie theater, I cut my hands and said, "No, you don't, you dumb bitch." Okay, I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't actually do that. But, 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 but if I ever see the movie again, <laughs> you all guys already know what I'm doing. So then, <laughs> so then they just talk to each other like, "Oh, anxiety, this is bad. You shouldn't be doing this." Anxiety's like, "I don't care. I'm gonna do it because I want to do it." Okay, she's not like this. But the rest of them review and they draw good stuff. And anxiety's like, no. And then one of them throws a chair at the screen, breaking. She's like, okay, well, if we don't have that, let's just brainstorm ideas what can go wrong. So they grab a Macy Day balloon float. And they're going all the way to the back of the mind where the funnel cake is at. Oh yeah, whenever anxiety goes down with one of the anxiety ridden uh, memories, she just drops it in the pool and it starts to go up. The tentacle thing goes up and creates a new Riley. And it just, at this point, it's saying like, I'm not good enough. It's just saying anxiety riddle mess. And she's like, oh yeah, that happens. So then, um, so the brainstorm is here. I like the fact that the brainstorm is a little like light bulb ideas. And they get out. Everyone except Joy is the genius one million IQ plan of climb up, grab a big idea, and then fly right it all the way to the back of the mind. So So then they do that, no, really, really big, big idea comes in. They're like, that, that's it. And the really, really, really big idea is that they should go. So the coach has like a notebook where she writes down all what she thinks of everyone. So they're gonna go into her office, steal the, find the notebook and read what she, what she thinks about her. So Riley goes and does it. And it says, Riley ain't good enough. She ain't ready. She ain't built for this. And Riley is like, boop, boop, boop. And they're like, wait a minute. None of us are sadness. So they go and they ransack the room. And they eventually find, anxiety eventually finds sadness under a blanket. And 
He's obviously like sadness. Sadness is like, no, all. <laughs> no. And then he's already pulls the blanket. Me personally, I would have put, I would have been like, you see, you some bitch. Bitch, you do this shit again, I'm putting a bullet between your eyes. Eyes, you can't run from a 48. Go ahead and try. I would have. I would have been hitting, like, ain't no way you gonna watch me out the shit shoot. And then, when I come back, not expect to have your dumbass teeth crib stomped. So, anxiety, funny, ties, puts in a bucket, and then suspends the bucket, then they do a live execution of sadness, and, then, uh, they get back there. And they get the funnel cake, and they're like, yes. So, like, <clears throat> sadness, sadness, get us back. She's like, I'm tied up right now. I'm in a bucket. I'm about to get executed. So then, embarrassment uh, takes out the bucket. Oh, yeah. Anxiety has the genius idea of, um, the girl before scored two points and got in. Why don't we just score three? So she's gonna do that and Uh, sadness goes bonks the button. They're all gonna come back in. They're gonna suck them all up. But anxiety breaks the tube, breaks the shit shoot, and all the tubes fall. And then Joy just sits there like, "Damn, I don't know what to do now. Guess we, we'll, guess we'll just die. Not our problem anymore." So, we, so now we have to talk about the bank vault scene. So they all get put in a big jar and they get put in a bank vault where all of her repressed memories are. And there's one of like a kid's cartoon character and there's a pouch that has magic and shit. So they call the pouch to the to the place and it has a bunch of TNT because it's a domestic terrorist, I guess. So they decide to put the TNT around this big pile of memories, blow it up, and then ride the wave back into the, the river of consciousness, use the elevator in there to go back up, yep, and then probably kill anxiety for doing all this. Like, let's be honest, I would. So, they, so that plan works. But anxiety and it's a game, but anxiety is working too fast. And she's and eventually Riley is like stealing the puck from her own team. And then she sees one of her friends hits a sweet ass JBL clothesline. Why not okay, that part didn't happen? She bumps into her friend like bunk. And then she has put in the penalty box for five minutes, and she's like, damn, I am cooked. So she's having an anxiety attack when uh, all of them get in there. They're like, what the hell happened? So Joy has to go in and be like, hey, anxiety, this is, this is not good, bro. Come on. This... This is bad. This is poopy. Okay. So, uh, did you stop? And, okay, she says more emotional stuff that I don't remember. So, anxiety stops. And Joy comes in. She's, she's like, and they're like, wait. Wait a minute. It was wrong with anxiety forced Joy to be who she thought Joy should be. But, but if we do the funnel cake, then that will do the same thing. 
So she takes both of the dances, great both of them, I guess, and let all of the many that had come in into the pool become tentacles and shape who Riley really is. A mix of all her emotions. And then Riley, I guess, I don't know if she scores a third point, but we cut. Uh, anxiety is like, Joy, I am so sorry. Like, not me personally? I would have been like, Oh, you sorry, huh? You sorry? Yeah, I'll be sorry too. Ain't no way you just gonna fling me out the shit shoe. Do all this to me. And then hit me with the, oh, I'm sorry. Ain't no way. So then Joy forgives her and we see her in high school, which like, once again, she's 13. I think they should have made her 14. That would have made more sense, but whatever. So she's in high school. She, and she gets a notification. We don't know if she gets accepted or not, but she's happy. So she did get accepted. So why did I say this film's confusing? Well, there are a few reasons. Number one, there was not really a villain. The first one didn't have a villain, but this one kind of paints anxiety to be the villain. But until you think about it, anxiety's not really a villain. If anxiety's a villain, then you also gotta say all of the emotions are villains, especially joy. <laughs> because at the end of the day, they just, they're just doing what they think is best for Riley. Think about it. If you were one emotion, that wouldn't be good. Humans need multiple emotions to function. So, yeah. Number two. I feel like they should have made anxiety a little bit more, like, scared like, kind of scared of herself. If you think about it, when you have anxiety, you're usually just scared. You're pretty scared. You're like, oh. If you think about that. If anxiety, if, if anxiety, you didn't feel fear, why is it frightening? Why are you scared of it, then? If you don't feel any fear of it, I know you're going to feel fear when you have anxiety, but, like, whatever. I, I can't think of the other ones, so. In conclusion, my name is Five Star Filthy Frog, and I approve this message.